Hello viewers, in the topic qualitative analysis of organic compound, in the previous part we have discussed about the preliminary test. As I have already told you, it is systematic analysis, you have to follow certain steps one by one. We have discussed about preliminary test, we have discussed about how to detect the extra element present in the organic compound and then you have to start to detect the functional group. In the category of functional group, we have discussed about the carboxylic acid and today I will start with the phenolic functional group. As you can see in the screen, what are the phenolic compounds? Phenolic compounds are the organic compound in which hydroxyl group is directly linked to the benzene ring or phenolic compound. You can see phenol in which OH is directly linked to the benzene ring. In beta naphthol, OH linked to the naphthalene at beta position, alpha naphthol you can see, you can also see resorcinol. So, all these compounds are examples of phenolic functional group. Now, how can you detect the presence of phenolic functional group in the given organic compound? You have to take the compound in a test tube, small amount, then you need to add dilute NaOH solution, then you have to shake it well. If compound dissolve completely to this clear solution, you need to add concentrated HCl solution drop by drop. So, you will see a solid or emulsion if phenolic function group is there. Second test you can do for phenolic function group is you have to take the compound in a test tube, then add water or alcohol to make a solution, shake it well and then add alcoholic or neutral ferric chloride solution and then see the observation. If there is a appearance of violet color, then phenolic function group is there, phenolic compound may be there. If violet uh, blue uh, color is there, resorcinol compound may be there, but please mind it, these are not confirmatory, but confirmation for the functional group. If white PPT slowly changes to pink, alpha naphthol may be there or green color is appearing over there, then beta naphthol may be there. How the reaction proceed? You can see with the phenolic compound phenol with FeCl3, you will get a addition product and you can see the color with phenol, it will be violet color. Another test to detect the phenolic function group in the given organic compound is thaline test. You have to take the organic compound in a test tube, then you need to add thalic anhydride solution and two drops of concentrated H2SO4 solution. Heat it gently because you are adding H2SO4 to the solution until the mixture fuses cool and pour in a beaker containing very dilute NOH solution. If pink color appears on adding NOH solution, then phenolic function group may be there. If green color appear, then alpha naphthol. If green, bluish green color appear, then beta naphthol. And you can see how the reaction proceed for resorcinol. Another test to detect the phenolic function group in the given organic compound is the Lieberman test. You have to take the organic compound in a test tube, then add concentrated H2SO4, then two crystals of sodium nitride, heat it gently, dilute it with water and then add small amount of 20 percent NaOH solution. If red color appear, then you have to add the excess solution of NaOH, then you will see bluish green color which shows the presence of phenolic compound in the given organic compound. This is the Lieberman test, how to proceed. Now, you can see the reaction, it is start with phenol, now when you added HNO2, uh, you will get a nitroso compound and when you will add the phenol, you will get a indophenol which is blue in color and when you add NaOH, the color will changes from blue to red. So, this is how you can confirm the phenol compound in the given organic compound. When you have confirmed about the phenolic function group, you can uh, use any test which I have discussed in last slides. If aldehydic or ketonic compound is there, we can say collectively carbonyl compound. So, how can you detect the presence of carbonyl function group in given organic compound? You can go for the test 2,4 DNP test. What is 2,4 DNP? 2,4 DNP reagent is 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine and the product you will obtain with the reaction of given organic compound will be 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazone. So, please clear this in your mind that what is the 
name of the reagent and what is the name of the product. This is also called 2,4 DNP test. How will you proceed for this test to detect the carbonyl compound? To check the possibility of carbonyl compound in given organic compound, you need to proceed with this test. You have to take the given organic compound in a test tube, a small amount always uh, suggest, suggested to take. Then you need to add the freshly prepared reagent because if you keep on putting this reagent, it may faint or the reactivity will be the slow. After adding the reagent 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrogen, you have to shake it well to make the reaction fast. Then if there is a yellow or orange red crystalline precipitate, carbonyl group may be there and you know carbonyl group may be aldehyde or carbonyl group may be ketone. This is the reaction you can see the carbonyl group C double bond AO and which is uh, reacting here 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine and then what is the product 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazone which is of orange or yellow PPT. If you have studied about the reaction about the chemical uh, characteristic property of carbonyl group, it gives nucleophilic addition reaction. So, here nitrogen with lone pair of electron will attack to the carbonyl carbon which is electrophilic in nature and will give you the product. It is a very fast reaction whenever you ask to locate to identify the carbonyl group in the given organic compound. This is the first most uh, test uh, advice to do. If this test comes out positive, then either aldehyde uh, may be there or ketonic may be there. If the test comes out negative means there is no yellow color, there is no orange color means carbonyl group is absent in the given organic compound. But if on addition of 2,4 DNP reagent you will get orange or yellow or dark uh, red color PPT, there may be a possibility of either aldehyde or ketone. So, you need to dis you have to distinguish now how to distinguish whether the carbonyl group is aldehyde or ketone. So, first of all we can do the test for aldehyde. The first test is shift test. Shift, shift is the name of the scientist. You have to take the given organic compound in a test tube, a small compound. Then you need to add the shift reagent. You have to shake it well. If violet color immediately develops, the aldehydic may be aliphatic means the shift test is given by only aldehydic function group not by the ketone. So, shift test is coming out positive it means the given carbonyl compound is aldehydic in nature not in ketone. On the contrary we can also say if shift test comes out positive ketonic function group is absent however, carbonyl function group is there. So, violet color immediately develops it shows that aliphatic aldehydic group may be there. We have already told you about uh, detail how can you check that the given organic compound is aliphatic or aromatic with the help of ignition test. You have to take the small amount of organic compound in a spatula in a iron spatula and directly ignite on the burner. If sooty flame comes out then the nature of the organic compound will be aromatic possibility is there not confirmation. If non sooty flame is there then the compound nature will be aliphatic. So, if immediately color violet color develops aliphatic aldehyde and if pink color slowly develops means the possibility of aldehyde is aromatic. This is the test, this is the reaction for shift base uh, reagent. You can see the structure of uh, shift base and when it reacts with aldehydic function group here you can see the master formula of aldehyde. R C H O and shift base reagent you can also see 3 ben uh, substituted benzene ring is attached to the central uh, carbon. How the reaction proceed you can also see there is a addition reaction with the uh, sulfonic group along with the aldehyde group and uh, uh, this uh, test will show the possibility of aldehyde group with the uh, presence of magenta color in this solution or it may be precipitate also. Another test to distinguish between uh, whether the carbonyl uh, function group is aldehyde or ketone is tolerance test. We can also say it like silver mirror test. How to proceed this test? 
you have to take the given organic compound in a test tube i again repeatedly saying you need to take the small compound smallest compound a pinch of the organic compound in a test tube if it is liquid then you have to take 2 3 drops of the given organic compound in a test tube now you have to add the freshly prepared tollens reagent what is tollens reagent it is ammonical silver nitrate solution how much amount you need to add you need to add the small amount heat it on a boiling water bath what is boiling water bath you have to take a water bath in which water is there and you have to already started to boil it then keep your test tube in the water bath to heat it if silver mirror is formed on the inner side of the test tube the carbonyl group will be aldehydic functional group not the ketone so if the test comes out positive whether we talk about schiff based test whether we talk about tollens test we can say the carbonyl group will be aldehydic functional group and the negative test either we can do schiff test or tollens test then ketonic functional group may be there this these are the reaction involved in the tollens test or silver mirror test in the first reaction you can see silver nitrate when added with the sodium hydroxide you will get the precipitate of silver oxide ag2o this silver oxide when treated with ammonia you will get silver ammonical nitrate alkaline silver ammonical nitrate solution this is your tollens reagent you can prepare this in the lab as well as you can ask to the lab staff to prepare it to save your time now you have to react this silver ammonical nitrate or tollens reagent with the given uh, aldehydic compound and you can see how the reaction proceed it will gives you precipitate of silver 2 ag if you can see and this aldehydic group with the tollens reagent uh, this aldehydic group will oxidize by the tollens reagent tollens reagent is a strong oxidizing agent and it will convert aldehyde group to carboxylic group or we can say it oxidizes aldehyde to carboxylic group and itself get reduce from silver ammonical nitrate to silver and the silver you can see in the sides inner sides of this test tube silver mirror you can observe so this is the test conformation of aldehyde group and these are the reaction and in the figure you can also see how the silver mirror appearance in the test tube you can compare you can also check the uh, possibility of aldehyde group which is alpha beta unsaturated in nature you can see here also this aldehyde group get converted into carboxylic group salt of carboxylic group so you can check also these kind of aldehyde group in the given organic compound another test to check the possibility of aldehyde group as a carbonyl group you can check with the felling solution test it is also a name of the scientist so first of all you need to take care that what is felling solution felling solution is the mixture of felling solution a and felling solution b you have to mix the equal amount of felling solution a and felling solution b in a different test tube because on keep standing it get reduced or it get oxidized or it get you know decompose so whenever you need to take you need to use the felling solution you need to prepare immediately you need not to use the preserved felling solution right so what is felling solution a it is nothing but a solution of copper sulfate what is felling solution b it is alkaline solution of sodium potassium tartrate or we can also say rochelle salt plus nuh and you can see the structure of rochelle salt so you have to mix both the felling solution a and felling solution b in equal amount suppose you are taking felling solution drop two drops of felling solution a so you need to add two drops of felling solution b for the detection of aldehyde group in the given organic compound right so i have already told you you have to prepare the felling solution in a different test tube now add given organic compound to the felling solution and heat it gently heat it gently wherever i mention this heat it gently means please heat it indirectly with the help of water bath do not heat it directly the formation of red precipitate of cuprous oxide will shows the presence of aldehyde function group in the given organic compound and here you can see the reaction first 
the first reaction shows the formation of failing solution you can also see what is failing solution it is deep blue color complex it is a complex how this complex form you have to take the failing solution a which is copper sulfate along with sodium hydroxide then sodium potassium tartrate or rochelle salt and you will get the complex when this folic solution is added to the given organic compound which is actually aldehydic in nature you will get the cuprous oxide red precipitate so this is how and here again you can notice that the aldehydic compound get oxidized to carboxylic functional group so failing solution is also a oxidizing agent another test to confirm whether the carbonyl group is aldehyde or ketone why i am telling you these uh, uh, numerous test because you can check with uh, you can check the possibility of aldehyde group either with the test either tollens test or schiff based test or failing test or benedict test whichever is easily available in your lab but you must aware all kind of test in absence of the uh, unavailability of a reagent you can go for the another test so what is the benedict test benedict is also a scientist name you have to take the benedict reagent how can you prepare benedict reagent you can also prepare yourself or you can ask to the lab staff what you need to do you have to take the copper sulfate pentahydrate sodium carbonate and sodium citrate in a small amount mix all these reagent in a test tube in a separate test tube you will get a benedict reagent so how will you proceed first of all prepare a benedict reagent or you can uh, ask to the lab staff and then add the given organic compound to it formation of red precipitate of cuprous oxide shows the presence of aldehyde group here you can see when you mix all the uh, what is the uh, reagent here you can see the cupric ions are there in the benedict reagent these cupric ion get oxidized aldehyde group uh, to the carboxylic acid right and itself get reduced to the cuprous oxide which is actually brick red precipitate brick red in color so all, from all these tests you can confirm the presence of aldehyde functional group test for ketone please take this note that uh, how uh, this particular test with the sodium nitroprusside is only for a special kind of ketone methyl ketone what is that ch3co we cannot apply this test to all kind of ketones so how can we proceed for the Uh, ketonic functional group when it is methyl ketones are there you have to take the given organic compound in a test tube a pinch then you need to add sodium nitroprusside solution from the shelf and then add two drops of sodium hydroxide wine red color may be there or orange red color may be there depend upon the particular ketonic compound okay if this color these kind of color develops then ketonic functional group may be there how the reaction proceed you can see first of all the base naoh hydroxide ion will abstract a proton from the ketone formation of a carbonyl takes place in the first reaction oh is what it is alkaline in nature it has a tendency to abstract a proton from the ketone and this will react with nitroprusside what is that fe cyanide 5 and no hold 2 uh, minus valency 2 minus it will react with uh, given methyl ketone to give a complex molecule right and you will get a red color this red color shows the presence of ketonic functional group now the question arises we have learned so many tests for carbonyl functional group how to proceed simply first of all if you have to check the possibility of carbonyl functional group if carbonyl functional group is there you have to check with the 24 dnp test if this test comes out positive you have to distinguish either the given uh, functional group is aldehyde or ketone with the help of tollens test either test you can do if any test comes out positive failing solution test schiff based test or benedict test or tollens test it means the given carbonyl group is aldehyde group and please take this note it automatically showed 
that ketonic functional group is not there. So, this is how you can check the possibility of which kind of carbonyl group is there, whether it is ketonic or whether it is aldehydic. And if there is a particular kind of uh, ketones, you can check with the sodium nitroproside solution. Now, test for esters. What are esters? You know R, C, O, O, R. Acyl group along with the alkoxy group or aryloxy group. First test you can do phenolphthalein test. What you need to do for that? You need to dissolve the given organic compound in ethyl alcohol and then add a drop of phenolphthalein, two drops of very dilute NOS solution, heat it on a boiling water bath. If pink color disappear, it means ester compound may be there. So, you have to check the when you want to check the possibility of ester compound, this is the confirmatory test for esters. Here you can see how the color changes from uh, in acidic solution, you can see the acidic uh, in acidic uh, medium, this is the structure and this will be colorless in nature and in base alkaline medium, the color will be pink. How the structure varies, you can see right the proton is abstracted in the acidic medium by the base and in the next step you can see this is a protonated water molecule with the anion which shows the pink color in the base. Another test to confirm the presence of esters are hydroxamic test. How to proceed? You need to take the or given organic compound in a test tube then add hydroxylamine hydrochloride solution. This is the name of reagent in ethanol. How to prepare this solution? How to prepare this reagent? You can prepare in water, you can prepare it in any solvent, but here you are preparing uh, this reagent in ethanol and you have to add in the given organic compound. Then made alkaline. How can you make alkaline the given organic compound? By the addition of NUH, but here you are advisable to take the 10 percent NUH. How can you prepare 10 percent NUH? Simply you need to dissolve 10 grams of NaOH pellets into 100 ml of distal water. Fine. So, you can prepare this NaOH solution then and there when it is required. Do not take it preserved, right. The reaction will be fast, the color will be prominent. This mixture then heated to boiling, then cool the solution again. Whenever you heat the uh, compound uh, with the another reagent, you are advisable to heat it in a boiling water bath. Then cool the solution at the room temperature and then acidified with the help of addition of dilute HCl and 1 2 drops of ferric chloride. So, this is how you need to proceed for the hydroxamic test. Formation of characteristic odor depends upon the kind of ester compound, right. So, this is the confirmatory test how can you perform for the uh, esters and these are the reactions. First of all, you can see the ester R C O O R acyl group attached with the alkoxy group or aryloxy group. NH 2 OH HCl, what is this? This is a hydroxylamine hydrochloride. Then you had added NaOH solution, first of all, you will get the sodium hydroxylamine, right. Then you have added HCl. Uh, and FeCl3. With the addition of FeCl3, you will get a complex and which kind of complex, what should be the structure, you can see in the structure. This is the hydroxylamic acid complex. So, this kind of a structure will show the presence of ester in the given functional group. Another important test you can go for the confirmation of uh, esters are hydrolysis of ester. You know what are esters? Esters are the derivative of carboxylic acid. So, here you can simply do the hydrolysis of ester. If you have studied about the derivatives of carboxylic acid, what are the derivatives of carboxylic acid? These are amide, these are esters, these are anhydride, these are acid chloride. So, if you have studied about the hydrolysis of carboxylic acid derivatives, Every derivative of carboxylic acid in return, in turn will give you the carboxylic acid and how the reaction proceed whether we talk about carboxylic acid or whether we talk about the derivative of carboxylic acid, 
these will give the nucleophilic substitution reaction mainly when we talk about the main reaction of carboxylic acid and derivative of carboxylic acid. How the reaction proceed? The reaction can be proceed in the presence of acid. We can say it is acid catalyzed nucleophilic substitution reaction or base catalyzed simply if we are taking any alkaline medium. Suppose we are taking NOH, then we can say it, it will be base catalyzed uh, hydrolysis of uh, carboxylic acid derivatives. So, whether we talk about any kind of derivative of carboxylic acid, we will get back carboxylic acid. Thank you so much.